Morning. Oh, that. So what's happening? What is well, this? Tell the story. Story. Um, it's the beginning of the next chapter. This is our new um, setup. A new full drive land Toyota Land Cruiser Ute with um, a full kitchen and everything on the back, which we're just about to set up ready for overland travel for next year when we start a new business which is the same as we did with motorbikes but with four-wheel drives um, traveling Australia for a few months of the year so this is the uh, pretty well day one I just flew in from India yesterday late yesterday here we are going on the Good form of transport here. Yeah. What our rickshaw. <laughs> What's happening, Gav? We are buying charges. Here, so getting. Charge my phone. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, so, uh... We're in Old Delhi Market, and we're just we're checking the charger. Works fine. All's good. So we're visiting one of the great temples of Delhi, which is the KDM shop, uh, on our way to the Ministry of Beer, which is around the corner. So we just thought we'd visit this temple. So we've been on a cultural tour this morning. We've been to the Red Fort, the big Sikh temple, the KTM temple, and now we are at the fourth temple of the day, the Ministry of Beer. But unfortunately, it's closed. I see the lady inside. So, but we see people inside, and you never know your luck. They might see it looks like they're, they're that we're dying of thirst. So the Ministry of Beer wasn't open, so we found this joint. These are our uh, lovely helpers here, hosts, and um, how cool is this joint? And they've got beer. Just when you think you've had enough, they bring more of everything. Pop it on. The sweet things. Some of that. And buttermilk. And more of everything. So it's incredible what we've had here. And this is the carcass of the beast. That's all that's left. Absolutely wonderful. So how was that, Gap? That was fantastic. Beer is yeah. a great food. Yeah, a lot of beer. Doesn't get much food. And we've got a car and a beer to take back to the hotel. So, life's good. Catch you later.
Well, here I am, top of the world again. It's snowing. Okay, it's the middle come, of summer. Come, everybody. And uh, we're just about to do our group photo at the top. <laughs> Yeah, setting this up, getting it ready, which will be um, for about the next month. We'll be getting it, uh, getting it all set up. So there you go. It fell out. Pardon? What fell out? The new esky. Oh. Seems to be a theme. What's that? Eskies falling out of vehicles. So we're going to change all this to make it all, everything fit in. Oh yeah, this is just as we bought it. A bit like a reno, maybe. What's a reno? Renovation. Oh. Get it all working well. I think this side's going to be the kitchen. Yeah. Um, so that when we pull over by the side of the road, we can quickly make a cuppa. And then we're not sure what we're going to do on the top. We might put a rooftop tent on there for sleeping. There's a new EPO for the boat. Oh, yeah. lovely. Because we could now, there's a story behind that EPO, isn't there? Yeah, we've got an EPO on the boat and um, it's registered in America and because the boat was registered in America, but we changed the boat to Australian and we couldn't register an Australian EPO, I mean, an American EPO in Australia. So we've had to buy a new one for the boat. And register it here before we leave. Yeah. Which I think is registered, isn't it now? Did you do that? No. Not yet. That's on the list of things to do. We're getting there. So, so many things to do. Yeah. Oh, look at the Aeroguard holder. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a sorting few days before we head off into the desert in about a week uh, for the trip back across to Early Beach. That one came off well. Well, they all have so far. I hate stickers on things. We seem to be taking a lot of stickers off things lately. Yeah. Oh, that Where fits perfectly. Fuel and things goes. That fits perfectly too. And these are all the tools we bought. We're just kitting out the new four-wheel drive with all the bits like fire extinguishers. <laughs> um, tools and all the bits we need to kit out the new four-wheel drive. And why do we need a four-wheel drive? For the new four-wheel drive business we're starting next year, but there's more info about that one. Yeah, so we're just looking for the toolkit that I love, but I don't think they're stopping here. And where are we? We're at Bunnings, my favourite shop. And in which country? Uh, at the moment we're back in Australia. For one day, up to India tomorrow. Anyone missing Katie and Warren? Yep, that's all we need. One hammer. We need a fly kit. And Katie and Orange. There's a theme going here. Well, it's the same theme as you get on the boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The boat, yep. So let's run with the theme. All different sizes, one of each? Well, combination. Yep. Bullows, a pair of cutters, and a long nose. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. That's the whole orange kit. Mm -hmm. You get all these. Are they the same? Thirty dollars. Yeah. And if you buy the whole kit, forty nine. Forty nine. That's a no-brainer. Let's do it. What to do? What are we gonna do? You're gonna do that one. Cool. And that one. And that one, and not the other one. All right. So, all orange. What do we need? File. File? What sort of file? A bastard? A half round. You can never go away without a good file in your toolkit. No. Look at that. That's 
professional sharpie, that one. For pumping up our tyres. Oh yeah, we've got to be able to pump our tyres up. You always need a wire brush. Never bush without a wire brush. <laughs> what do you do with a wire brush? Clean things and stuff. Hacksaw? Yep. What's a hacksaw for? For cutting. For cutting? Cut. We don't need anything exciting in the blade department. Two dollars? No, we need more exciting than that. A bit... A bit no good. <laughs> Two. Oh, there we go. Selection. That's what you Perfect. wanted. Done. Hasn't got a barcode. Oh, no. <laughs> How much is that one? No, it's a bit too basic. Sorry. Okay, so we've got to upgrade yeah, a bit. Upgrade to the craft right. Craft right? Is that the one? All right. That's Decision made. One. Cool. So that, that that looks quite nice. It's a bit more sure. Yeah. That's Get it. that's absolutely fantastic. Right. Toolbox. Tick. There's a theme. What's that theme? Colour theme. Orange. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it ain't orange, it's a lemon. That's right. Even now, even now, washing up brush is orange. And the new shower. Fancy all the way this time. It looks nice, that engine. Thank you. And what have you got in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> I just came out from the kitchen. Trusty WA WD-40. And Magnus has got well, this in his hand. It seems to work on the boat. Everything I spray with this works, so I thought I'll just spray the whole engine. It's looking very, very yeah. smart. I'm cleaning her up. Wow. Yeah. So that is a um, intercooled turbo V8 diesel. So a fuel, fuel filter there. Yeah, that's putting that on tomorrow because these um, these Modern V8s need good fuel, so we're putting an oh, extra right. fuel filter on. And a new battery. We've got one battery, Second so one goes in. we'll have a twin battery, and it's going to go in that spot. And uh, it's not new by any means. No, no. But because um, they're way out of our price league, new. It's more than that boat. So um, yeah, we've got a second handy, and it's in really good condition. And I like to keep things pretty schmick, so WD-40, <laughs> again, I should do ads for WD-40. <laughs> you <I>? should. <laughs> this is the product that'll fix anything in the home, the boat or the car.